We are back at the sanctuary. Just gotta have a little chit chat with Astrid. Ah, oh, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Eh. Simply did what had to be done. Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. Oh, yeah. Uh, is something wrong? It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. I think you're being a bit, you know, paranoid. Maybe so, but healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before, and my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. And what do you want me to do? Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Uh, I'll just keep quiet on that. No objections then? Good. Go now, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Okay. Well. Until next time, brother. Indeed. My mother's coffin. Hiding in one. We've broken into a jail as a thief. And now as a, uh quote-unquote merchant of death we are hiding in a coffin kind of doing things a little bit backwards all right there she is no one is around hello Um, apologies. According to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you. have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... I'm angry. Oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. He obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Oh, Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my words. For he is not a listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? 
Okay, exert your will if you will not speak to anyone. Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones, I give you this task. Journey to Wollen. Speak with Armand Gautier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero, the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! <laughs> I love Cicero. <laughs> uh, the neither... The ne neither? <clears throat> the Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. <laughs> she spoke to you? Treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there is no listener. Wait. She said to tell you, darkness rises when silence dies. She, she said that. Mm-hmm. She said those words. Yep. To you. To me. Darkness rises when silence dies. Yep. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tones. A signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. And it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> My sickness, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero <laughs> screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? It's true. Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? I must speak to someone named Amon Motier in Valenrude. Amon Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrude, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. So should I go to Valenrude? I should talk to this man? Hmm. 
No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Okay. Well. Oh, you are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> so, what exactly does a listener do? Oh, the listener, well, listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. Okay. So why did you come to the Sanctuary? The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was... desecrated. Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as Keeper. Ah. And what are the duties of a Keeper? Cicero takes care of our lady's body, oils it, preserves it, keeps it safe, makes sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. All right. Will the Night Mother speak to me again? Ah! Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg. Wait. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now, or later, or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. Oh boy. <laughs> Cicero, did you want to be the listener? Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen, <laughs> tried so hard, but the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost maddening. That was then, this is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. <laughs> okay, well, what can you tell me about yourself? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... happy. <gasps> but I'm not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> you are the listener. You heard the words. And everything will soon be put right. Okay, okay. Thanks for the info. Are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. Okay, I'll take uh, your word for it, I guess. Now we just gotta talk to Nazir. A little side action. <sighs> Let's see if he's eating food. Imagine that. Who's here? Brother. Hey, uh, Ashard wanted me to see you about some more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. 
Okay. How uh, about you tell me about Ullerbuk? He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. Alright. And uh, what about Hearn? He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. Will do. All right. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Indeed. Plenty of people to kill. So... Lerbuk of near Morthal. Okay. Hearn, not too far away. So I think that'll be our first stop here. And then, of course, make our way north over to Morthal. So we're going to head out of here. Head up to Hearn. And get to killing. And so we've made it to the location. A mill. Half Moon Mill. Someone doing some shopping. Some cutting. Someone else over here. Yeah, right there. Someone else right there. Skyrim, even when you're blown out, you're pretty. Guard coming by. I'm not too much of a fan of that. No, just ad admiring the, the stream as you were. Good evening. Takes care of that. Some garlic. Why would a vampire have garlic? <laughs> we can't just leave the wife. Oh. Not the ninety gil bow, what am I doing? Where you going? Where are you going? Ah. Not finished with you yet. Oh. <clears throat> yes, yes, run. Good idea. to the safety of your home. Yes. <laughs> okay. Looks like hurt. Is hurt. Four <laughs> percent chance to loot an additional magic item from people you kill. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, have that little well the Apple, what we saw there. Good old food. Okay, couple items that could be useful. What else you got? Nothing. 
Nothing there. Nothing there. Some foods and whatnot. You guys can help yourselves. See if we can make anything real quick. Uh, just some seared fat. Okay. I saw something that needed some cabbage. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead. Never trust a danger with a smile on his face. Take some f other foods. <laughs> now can we cook anything? We can. Cook beef, pheasant roast, some stew. That requires a water skin. Oh, okay. There we go. Plenty of foods for us. <clears throat> but I mean, of course, you know, for those of you who don't know, we have a. The he what the hell happened here? We have a tradition, is what I was trying to say before whatever happened, happened. We have to take care of the body. Is it, oh, is it gonna... <clears throat> My friend's rather tired. Hope you have a good night. How you doing, sir? Doing well? where you're going. Okay. Now, like I said, we have to take care of the body. It won't let me pick it up. Ugh. Okay, well, what about you? There we go. Come with me. Not, now is not the time. All right, he's coming with us as originally planned. Keep a lookout, gentlemen. I have to drag a body. This is where it'd be nice to have like a some sort of telekinesis type of spell. Yeah, someone may be asking. Oh, you're just gonna toss the river? Oh no, sir. We're sending a message. Messages were not to be trifled with. Vampire or not. Oh, not in the river. I said we're not disposing of the body in the river. Come here. <laughs> no idea what the wolf and skeleton was all about. Let's see if we can easily hoist the murph. Now I think every time I try to do that, it doesn't work. So, he's dancing. <laughs> So we're just gonna bring him on back this way while we're walking. Get a little bit of coffee. Mmm. Okay. As I was saying, we 
have to send a message. up. You guys may learn a thing or two. Hoth and Lucian, that is. About sending said message. Hopefully it works the first time. <laughs> They're keeping an eye on it like, what is he doing? Yes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Where are you going? That did not work at all. No, no, no. You're not getting off easy. Come here. Not today. <laughs> no, 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 no. Something like that should work. And again, we will not rest until the message is sent, gentlemen. Bit of coffee while we wait. All right. Come back over. Await the message. Here we go. Message sent. I once knew a guy who survived. Hoth is unimpressed. All right. Let's surf this on down. Goodbye, gentlemen. Goodbye, message. <laughs> okay, let's head to Morthal.